Hello, my name's Hamish. I'm one of the engineers here at Instabase. And today I'm gonna to be running through a quick demo of how you can use Build, one of our workflows within AI Hub, to get consistent, repeatable, structured data output from unstructured data sources. For this example today, I'm gonna to be using bank statements and pay stubs, but all of the steps and the processes I'm gonna show you to configure a solution could be used for across any kind of document in any kind of format. So the first step is to go to my hub where we're gonna build and create a new project right now. I'm gonna turn on object detection, which is gonna enable our visual entity models. That helps with recognizing tables, checkboxes, signatures, and stamps, all of the unstructured features that, that are really important to understanding these documents. And then I'm gonna go ahead and upload some bank statements as well as some pay stubs that we can configure our solution with. What's happening in the background now is these uploads is that we're digitizing these documents. That means we're running them through an OCR engine to pull off the text information. And then also we're dealing with the unstructured, um, unstructured features of the documents, such as tables, checkboxes, signatures, stamps, and all of these come together in a format that our large language models within the platform can then interact with, and we can begin extracting data and information from these documents. So you can now see these three documents uploaded into the platform. We've got a payslip, um, a bank statement with multiple pages, and then a second bank statement here. The first step when configuring any solution is to add some classes. So you can just use natural language here. I'm gonna add a first class called bank statement and then a second class called payslip. These are important because it tells AI Hub which kind of documents we expect our solution to see and therefore the extractions that we want to do for each of those kinds of classes. You can see there within a few seconds after hitting reclassify, um, all of the documents have been put, placed in the correct class bucket um, and that happened within a few seconds. So if you compare that to how um, humans would do this in a sort of document triage, or even if you had a deep learning model, um, you'd have to train that model on hundreds of samples. You'd have to annotate those samples. And then anytime your solution changes, you'd have to go ahead and retrain a new model. <clears throat> Here, our la large language models have enough intelligence to be able to do this straight off the bat without any training. So the first step uh, after we've got some classes is to start adding some fields. So fields are our way of telling AI Hub which kind of information within these documents we would like to extract. So in the case of the bank statement, I'm gonna ask for the account number, uh, the name of the person, the address, uh, the bank name, the period end date of the statement, and then finally the transaction table. And in the case of the transaction table, what I'm after here is can we pull off this whole table of transaction history, including the dates, descriptions, the debits and the balance, <clears throat> and be able to extract that and, and manipulate that data. So as these load in, what's happening is our LLM models are looking through the content within these documents and trying to find the best match to the information we've requested, given the information within these documents. And within a few seconds here, you can see the results. <clears throat> so we've got the account number that's been extracted and it's actually also highlighted within the document where this information has come from. We've got the name of the company here, Genie Care Projects, the address, the bank, which is Nedbank in this case, the period end date, and then we'll go on to the transaction table afterwards. So for the period end date, one of the things you might want to do is actually change the format of the data. So what we can do is we can add a cleaning function. This is gonna post-process the answer coming, <coughs> coming back from the large language model. So if we didn't want the exact format contained within the document, what we can do is simply add a cleaning function, request that we format the date, choose a different date format, hit play, and within a few seconds, you'll see the large language model alter its answer. So here we've now got the year, the month, and then the day. For the transaction table, what we wanna do is add some additional intelligence. So uh, on the platform, we have two types of prompts. We've got extraction and reasoning. Extraction prompts are useful when you, when you want to lift the information directly off the page. 
but reasoning prompts are useful when there's some additional problem solving or some additional reasoning we want to do. So here I'm going to provide some more information to the model about the problem we're trying to solve. So I'm going to ask, um, please, can you extract the table of transactions? <clears throat> so providing some more context to the model on the task we want to be carried out should improve its ability to fill that task. So you can see here the full transaction table. And if I expand this, you can see all of this information has been pulled off. If I switch over to the second bank statement, you can see that although we've got a completely different format from a different bank, in this case, it's a person instead of a commercial account, all of the same fields that we've set up and configured within this build workflow, all of this information is also going to be pulled off from this other document. In the case of the payslip, we follow the exact same process. So I'll add some more fields here. I'm going to ask for the employee name, the national insurance number, the pay date, and the net pay. So we can add those fields. And again, the LLM models are going away and looking at the content within this document and trying to find the best match to these requests. Again, we could set up um, a clean function to alter this pay date format. So if we go into this net pay, what we can do is add a validation. And in this case, I'm going to validate based on the extraction confidence of the model. So here at the top, you can see that the model was 100% confident that the net pay value it extracted of 2,340.99 was correct. However, when it sees other documents, it might not be so confident. So I'm going to set up a threshold of 95% to say, if any new documents we push through our configured solution do not meet this threshold of 95%, we want these to be flagged for human review. So we can save that validation and see that it's passed. And once we're happy with how we've configured all of our classes, we can go ahead and create a new application. So here, I'm going to call this NatWest app. We're going to compile this project. So that means putting together all of the classes we've made, the extractions, the reasoning prompts, the cleaning functions, and also those validations. And this is going to be packaged together in a solution that we can now begin pushing through hundreds, thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of documents that have been unseen by our solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some new files. So a couple of pay slips and a couple of bank statements. These are going to be pushed through our configured solution. And it's also worth saying at this point that all of this functionality we've now made is now accessible via API. So you can upload new files, you can kick off new runs, and you can download results all programmatically, which means it can be integrated within your existing workflows. And if you don't want to, you don't have to use the UI. In the background here, what's happening is all of these documents we're uploading are going through that same process I've described. So they're being digitized. We're pulling off the text information and the unstructured data features. And then all of those extractions, the reasoning prompts, the cleaning functions are being applied to each of those documents. So we can see here, if we open up the results, each of the four documents has been classified as either a payslip or a bank statement. If they were neither of the two types, they'd fall into a third bucket, which we call other. And all of the extractions that we've set up for each of those classes are now applied to these new uh, documents that have a completely different format. So we've got the employee name, the national insurance number, and even the net pay, which we found has passed the validation. So the models must have been more than 95% confident. Again, a second pay slip, a different format, and yet all this information has been pulled off. In the case of the bank statement, we've got the account number, the name, the address, the bank, the period end date, and even the transaction table, which in this case was on the third page of the statement, and that's been pulled off uh, completely there. You can see in the fourth example, we have a, a similar process. And now we can either export these results as a CSV or an Excel, or if we've called everything by the API, then we can pull down those results as a JSON. 